Come on, bring in the producer. He's there now. Oh, he's there now. Um, he's, he's coming out of retirement, formerly of Spurs. I know, and, I know what and this come about. It'd be interesting to find out. Harbour Town. Uh, they, they play Reading in the FA Cup. Maybe that was part of the attraction. Good afternoon, Sandro. Good afternoon, guys. All what? good? Yeah, yeah we're, we're good. good. We're good. So, we're not, well, this was shock news for us all today. What, 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 has, what has drawn you out of retirement? Oh, nice, guys. So, guys, uh, so I met, I was in the Tottenham Stadium talking to, to the fans, and I met those guys, and they, they said to me, Sandro, can you play for my team? <laughs> and, uh, and I said, yes, why not? And, <laughs> Is that, all, is that all it takes, Sam? You get asked a lot. I mean, is, is this the first time you've been asked to play for somebody else? Uh, yes, to be fair. No, to be fair, few few people just ask me to play, but normal normal games, like a five sides. And, but this was like a competition, you know, like FA Cup. And I said, wow, wow tell me more about that. Yeah. And they said, Sandro, we can pay you, you come down, you can you play for us. <laughs> and I said, no, no, man, forget it. No, not about the money. I go there just to enjoy with you guys, to, to have fun. And that, that was it. Wow. That's brilliant. That's so um, have you, have you yeah, trained yet with them, Sandro? Have you, have you spent any time with the players yet? No, not yet. Not yet. But you're looking in pretty good shape, judging by this picture we're looking at. I mean, are you still <laughs> playing on a regular basis, even five aside? And no, I, I I try to do gym and to run in the treadmill, but just just this. But guys, what's just for you know what's just for a game? I don't have like a contract with them and like years of contract was just for for me to go there and to. To enjoy, to enjoy a little bit football because I miss football and I, I miss playing. And I said, what an opportunity for me to go there and to uh, to enjoy football again. So it will be my my last chance to 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 have a proper match. And I said, why not? So you're you're going to play in this cup. You're registered to play in the FA Cup game against Reading for Harbour Town, and that <laughs> that's amazing. That may be it. If they if they go all the way to Wembley, Sandro, will you stay? <laughs> 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 yeah, man. This is amazing. I, I love football because of those things. And uh, and now I finished my WFB, and I thought it would be amazing to for me to go there to feel the changing room again, to feel the players, mm. and to be part of football again. And uh, and I said, man, I'm in. Do you have any great cup memories from your time at Tottenham? Uh. No, I don't have the group. Wait, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> we don't. We don't. <laughs> you never know. I mean, what I know. Sandro, <laughs> was part, Sandro was part of a good side. We had some great players in the side that Sandro... I saw, I'm a Tottenham fan, Sandro, so I saw a lot of you play. But, yeah, we um, we haven't... Uh, the trophy cabinet remains pretty bare since 2000. Yeah, she's going to win some of these shoes. Yeah, what, a, what do you make of Spurs at the moment, Sandro? I know you're, you're often down there watching the team. What do you think of Ange Postacoglu's team currently? Yeah, you know, we, we are doing good. Tottenham is doing good. Angie, I think, is is the right manager. You know, it's uh, it's a tough it's a tough to be competing in in every single uh, league and like Europe League, uh, Premier League, and to be in the cup. And I think it's we 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 had a few amazing games like against uh, West Ham, against uh, City. And I think uh, Tottenham, it's, it's in the way. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but I think uh, it's in the right way. Have you, when you've been down there, have you had a chance to have a conversation with Richarlison? We hear the day that it is a hamstring injury picked up against Villa. He's probably four weeks out, which is sad for him because he just he's, started had, show, he's yeah. had a lot of injury problems and we know how much it, it, it you know causes him mental health anguish when he's not fit. So we hope gets back soon but have you spoken to him yeah i just sent him a message saying that i know how how it feels because i had a lot of injuries uh, uh, also and man you can trust me we feel so like so sad and i know the feeling of richardson because he he came and he he was important for the team he uh, did a very nice pass for 
um, for Solanke to score, mm -hmm. and uh, and well, he he gets a, another injury, so uh, he needs to have a lot of love now uh, because I know that it's so frustrating to go again another uh, injury, uh, and I I always say that Richarlison is important for the team. He he gives energy for the team. And but it's difficult to for you to manage yourself like with those those injuries. Um, so you've got about um, three weeks or so to sharpen up, get a bit fitter, get match ready, and then you'll you'll be playing against Reading. You would have played against Reading, Reading for West Brom, wouldn't you? I would have thought um, you would have played, <laughs> played against them before, wouldn't you? I would think. Yeah, yeah, I played. Yeah. When I, I was uh, at Tottenham as well. Yeah. I did two PR as well. I played against them. Mm. Uh, yes, and I, I will do my best. <laughs> well, look, we're going to look out for you, Tango. Uh, good to talk to you. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think, wonder if the TV cameras will be along there now. Uh, you're not alone, actually. You're not the only former top professional who's playing in that league. We've uh, no. a friend of ours, the manager at Bedford Town, Lee Bircham. And he said that they've also got, in that league, Kettering have got uh, Niall Ranger, um, Marvin Sordell, Gary Hooper. So there are quite a few ex-Premier League players, top players, playing uh, in that league. So you may encounter a few old faces uh, when you play yeah. in that match. So, yeah, that's it. That's yeah. it. <laughs> well, enjoy. Enjoy the training. Enjoy your, your, your brief comeback. Well, let's hope it's not brief. Let's hope you can get through to the third round and maybe... Play Spurs oh, in the third would, round. Now that would be a dream. For Harbour. <laughs> that would be amazing, eh? Yeah. yeah, nice one. Thanks, Andrew. All the best. Take care. Take care. See you later. Yeah. There's Sam, bye -bye. former Spurs midfielder. He can't remember that. He got injured. He was playing really well, and he got injured start 2000. What would that have been? Anyway, when he was there, and he missed the rest of the season. Mm -hmm. So it is frustrating for any player when they're getting a bit of air to steam up to get a knock like that. But uh, we wish Richarlison well. Um, so... Uh, our thanks to Sandro, and uh, I'm sure we'll be talking about that in the build-up. I'm sure the papers will be all over that one as well. Harbour Town versus Reading in the FA Cup. Uh, our own Gabby Agbonahor is going to join us shortly. Um, he's over in Bruges for the uh, Villa game this evening in the Champions League. Well,